You're watching News 24 Live. Welcome to our Thursday Super Rugby preview and prediction show. It will be the second last one of the season, of course, with the semi-finals. Uh, no South African sides, but that should not detract from two massive games with four quality teams and some great rugby, which should be on display. I've got Rob Howling from Sport 24 alongside me to preview these two games. Then there were four, Rob. Um, yeah, both of them... New Zealand Australian encounters, Trans Tasman, whatever you want to call them. Pity there are no SSIs there, but yeah, I'm sure you'll be watching. I certainly I, will. I will indeed. Uh, the only sort of uh, South African point of note uh, over the weekend uh, domestically is that the Springbok squad will be announced. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that almost uh, is a sad reflection that I think it comes out at two o'clock on Saturday, uh, which of course is when we would pretty much expect there to be some South African presence in, yeah. uh, in uh, Super Rugby Semis Day. Sadly, not to be, of course. Um, but uh, it's also sad to say that we'll probably get some good rugby because uh, the South African Challenge this year, as much as we, we, we haven't done well statistically, uh, the brand of rugby being played by the South African teams has been pretty innocuous. And uh, it's, it's almost a merciful relief that we're going to get um, uh, you know, two sort of uh, all Antipodean uh, mm -hmm. games, uh, great rivalries in each instance. Um, and uh, I think both games could have the potential to be crackers, despite the, the sort of the knockout pressure involved, which may make things a little bit more sort of conservative uh, in certain ways. But, you know, New Zealand teams don't do conservative, especially. Yeah. So um, uh, I think we could get a great brand of rugby uh, potentially in, in, in both games. And there might just be a little bit of a mischievous um, hope in South Africa that a few uh, uh, key players uh, who are going to be sort of wallaby stroke all black uh, representatives down the line uh, do themselves a little niggle shall we say um, which is uh, you know not the ideal way of looking at things but it is it, it let's face it it's, it's extra <coughs> matches for um, for teams uh, yeah. from those shores just ahead of the rugby championship um, which is a benefit for South Africa uh, in some ways it's just in terms of team changes there's no Corey Jane for the Hurricanes, he is going to be replaced by Milner Scudder, James Marshall moving to fullback, uh, Brad Shields at flank ahead of Blade Thompson. And for the Brumbies, obviously Henry Spate's been suspended, so the only change there is this Lassi Ta Liaoli will be playing on the wing. Hurricanes have been incredible all season, hard to see them losing this one. Yeah, I mean, the, the, it's, it's set up so perfectly for them. Uh, they had the dream break last weekend, um, you know, while the Brumbies came to South Africa. And that's the one reason why I'm actually going uh, for the Hurricanes by a fairly clear-cut margin. Mm -hmm. um, I think that uh, come the final 20 minutes or so, uh, if the game has been reasonably ding-dong up until then, that's when I believe that perhaps the, the Hurricanes will quite literally run away with it mm -hmm. uh, because we know they also play a pretty explosive uh, ball-in-hand uh, brand of rugby. Um, uh, Brumbies have just travelled back. Absolutely. Um, uh, the, the Brumbies situation reminds me a little bit of, I think, a few years ago when the Sharks uh, uh, were also mm. in, in a similar position to, to the Brumbies. And they went, they went to play a first final series game, I think it was against the Reds in Queensland. Flew over there, flew back to play a semi-final. Um, miraculously almost actually beat the, the Stormers at mm. Newlands um, and then had to go back go again back. across the ditch and that yeah. was really a bridge too far. <coughs> so, um, you know, th this kind of, this constant sort of ping pong uh, across continents is we know is not good for the body or mind. Um, and it's, it's partly for that reason that I think that the, the Brumbies will come to a little bit of a grinding halt. Um, the Hurricanes, as you say, they've, they've bossed the tournament all season. The only thing in the Brumbies' favour is that they might be able to argue that they're a little bit more match sharp because we know that sometimes mm. uh, buys um, can, as much as they're a blessing in some respects, um, sometimes you just lose the plot a little bit. Um, you know, you find things like the line-out efficiency goes a little bit stale. Um, and, uh, you know, funny things do sometimes happen to teams coming off buys. Uh, and the coach afterwards has reason to sort of curse the fact, that in a way, that there was a gap. But uh, let's face it, nine times out of ten, you would like to have uh, a buy going into a semi-final. Get nice and rested. Prepare yourselves mentally on your own turf. Um, the Hurricanes, do, uh, I think, do deserve to go all the way to the, to the final. So there is a part of me that will be sort of, uh, mm -hmm. I suppose, subconsciously rooting for them. Um, make no mistake, I think they'll, they will have, they'll have watched the, the, the video, or the video nasty from a Stormers point of view of the game at Newlands um, and picked up a few tips on how to marshal sort of um, uh, keeping him paused um, at, at Newlands. Um, I think Milner Scudder will be, will be marking him. And uh, as much as Tumani is a danger, Milner Scudder is not exactly averse to, uh, to a few sort of attacking forays as well. So um, uh, I've got to say, I, I think that uh, Hurricanes might just win this one, and I'm going to go by as much as 12 points. Okay. I just think that the Brumbies are going to run out of steam. For all the quality they've got, um, I think they're going to run out of steam.